Welcome to Agoracom, the small cap episode on Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced edgy show bringing the best press releases out of small cap world every morning at the open so you can hopefully profit from them and maybe even find your next great small cap investment. It's Tuesday, March the 3rd. I've got seven, count them, seven great press releases for you from both sides of the border. Today, China dominates, and as you know, on Agoracom TV, China, we love Chinese small cap companies for obvious reasons, despite what's going on around the world today. We think China is a place to be in the long term. And on that note, don't forget about Chinasecurities.com. We haven't officially announced it to the world, but you should go over there, Chinasecurities.com. That's our new website that focuses just on Chinese small cap companies. Let's get straight to the news. First up, Wonder Auto Technology trades on the NASDAQ under WATG. They announced their fourth quarter and full year 2008 results. Uh, they're a manufacturer of automotive, electrical suspension, and engine accessories in China. Sales revenue increased 38%. To $141 million. That's why we love China. Gross profit up 42% to $36.4 million. Net income up 30.3% 30, 30 to just under $19 million. Have to love those numbers. Non-GAAP earnings per share were 73, uh, were 73 cents a share. That's an increase of 21%. Uh, great numbers out of them. Uh, they closed yesterday at $2.10. Uh, you got to find out what the gap earnings per share are before we can make uh, a valuation here on a multiple, but pretty good numbers out of Wonder Auto Technology. Next up, Vision Media. Vision China Media trades uh, under, under the stock symbol VISN. They announced fourth quarter and full year 2008 results. They're one of China's largest out-of-home digital television advertise networks on mass transport systems. We've seen these kind of companies on the subways or on uh, Go Transit systems and uh, all other kind of transport, and you, you know exactly what they do. Revenues increased 254% to $104 million. Unbelievable. Gross profit up 320% to $63 million. Did anybody fail to tell the Chinese companies were in a worldwide recession? Net income up 400%. Okay, 398.4. I'm going to round that up to 400 to $46.8 million. Basic and diluted net income per share, 67 and 65 cents respectively. Closed yesterday at $5.92. So you've got a multiple there. It looks like somewhere around nine cents a share just above that. Uh, uh, nine times earnings. Sorry, they're trading about nine times earnings, uh, which is pretty cheap, I would believe, given the kind of growth we're seeing here. Nine times earnings is usually, uh, is usually reserved for companies that are uh, established and growing at a normal paces. But you know, we're seeing several hundred multiple percent increases in their revenues and net income. So they deserve a higher share price. Keep a lookout for that. Trina Solar trades on the New York Stock Exchange on the TSL. Fourth quarter and, two th and, and fiscal year 2008 results uh, were released. They're a manufacturer of, soda, of solar photovoltaic products, and you can go take a look at them in the press release. Net revenues, $832 million, up 175%. Gross profit, $164.4 million, an increase of 143%. Uh, net income for the full year, $61.4 million, uh, an increase of 71.7%. And earnings per fully diluted share were $2.37 compared to $1.51 uh, last year. Uh, when you take a look at the fact that they closed yesterday at $5.96, we got a company here that's in essence is trading at a little more than two times earnings. Uh, I'm not sure where the disconnect here is. The market so bad that people are afraid to step into the markets. Uh, are these numbers possibly unsustainable? I think it's got to be the former because China is growing. These companies are growing. Solar is where it's going to be for the next several years, especially in China. We're looking at some potentially unbelievable prices today uh, for returns over the next five and ten years. But as always, got to do your own due diligence. Uh, take a look at Trina Solar. Next up, Deswell Industries, still stick with, stick with China, trading on the stock symbol DSWL. These are the third quarter numbers. Net sales, $37 million, an increase of 4.8%. Operating income, uh, just under a million, $900,000. Uh, now, here's the problem. That's compared to $3 million last year for the same quarter. Net income uh, was also just a million dollars compared to net income of $3 million last year. So it looks like they took a step backwards. Basic net income per share decreased to $0.06 cents from $0.19. Cents. So Deswell, uh, one of the few companies in China that are actually feeling the heat, they closed yesterday at $1.59. China Medical Technologies trades on the NASDAQ under CMED. CMED. They're reporting higher Q3 numbers. Revenues uh, climbed 51% to $33 million. 
non-GAAP net income up 95% to 17.5 uh, million dollars. Two reasons for the non-GAAP numbers. Uh, they exclude two significant one-time events. Uh, it's the first quarter they re reported results without their legacy high food business that they sold last year to their chairman. And it looks like they acquired some in-process research and development costs associated with its SPR technology. So they had to take some one-time hits on these. So you're going to have to go take a look at the GAAP numbers. They closed yesterday at $12.45, which is just off their 52-week low of $12.32, considering they're trading at $55 uh, at their high. Uh, switching over to the U.S. non-China, we've got InfoSystem Holdings trades on the OTC under INHI. They put out results for the fourth quarter ended December 31st. Revenue, uh, $9.1 million versus $6.6 .6 million. Big increase there. Net income, $1.3 million and $0.07 cents per share. That compares to a loss of $1.9 million and a loss of $0.11 cents per share for the same period last year. Steve Watkins, CEO of the company, had a big quote. We took this excerpt, which I also liked in addition to the numbers. During the fourth quarter, we achieved adjusted EBITDA of $3.3 million and had approximately $11.5 million of cash and, qu and cash equivalents as of December 31st. Like to see that, need to see strong balance sheets in the small cap space. I also like the business they're in because they've been on a Gorecom small cap TV before, and uh, I like the business they're in. They're a provider of ambulatory infusion pumps and associated clinical service for oncology practices uh, and their patients in the U.S. So what does that mean? This is what I like. These pumps allow for the gradual delivery of a drug over a period of days in the privacy of one's home compared to bolus infusion chemotherapy treatments that are given in a single high dose over a short period of time. They closed yesterday at a dollar ninety. That's uh, at the low end of the 52-week trading range, which is a dollar fifty and uh, and three fifty-two respectively on the high. And finally, on the TSX on the Canadian side, OSI Geospatial. Good news here. They signed a uh, 1.3 million dollar software upgrade uh, with the Australian Navy. So it's always great when you see a small cap uh, upgrade, getting an upgrade from uh, from the military. The company will provide a software upgrade and 12 months of software support. They don't tell you much much more than that for obvious reasons. Uh, but what does, they, what does the company do? They deliver advanced geospatial systems and software that enable shared real-time situational awareness for military and security applications, hence why we don't have more details in the actual press release. But we do know that their products are in use by military, government, and commercial customers around the world. Closed yesterday at 11 cents, just 11 cents. That's off their low of 8 cents, not very far off their low, but just off the low of 8 cents, and way off their high of 53. But always good news when you see uh, this kind of contract signed. That's a wrap. As always, if you look for more great small cap companies, don't forget about the Agoracom Marketplace. Close to 70 companies listed by industry and exchange, so you can find the one that best suits your portfolio. That's a wrap. Have a great day. See you tomorrow.